this small shop. This is place to move and it's time for another move review. This time we'll be reviewing Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Now before we talk about the movie itself, I'm gonna tell you what I expected from it. Basically I expected this to be a movie about a talking animal. And it wasn't exactly that. So let's discuss this movie. So this movie basically is the story of a singing crocodile. Yeah, more not later. I'm gonna start by talking about the characters like I always do. First, I'm gonna talk about Hector P. Valenti, played by Javier Bardem. Now, he's the owner of the crocodile and he tries to profit of him singing at a show. But he's too fucking nervous to actually sing at that fucking show. To be honest, I totally understand why he's trying to profit off the crocodile. He needs fucking money to survive. And at the top of that, he's an entertainer, so of course he wants to fucking entertain others with the crocodile and make a shit ton of money for that. He abandons the crocodile. I will admit it is a dick move, but I totally understand why he does it. Now then, the next character I'm gonna talk about is Lyle played by Sean Mantis. Now this crocodile can't fucking talk at all. But he can fucking sing and boy can he fucking sing. He sings fucking beautifully and he can come off with great lyrics right on the fucking spot. Now he can't talk at all but the fact that he can sing so well is fucking awesome. Another thing that I really like about the character is that this movie manages to do something that very fucking few movies can. That crocodile feels and looks like a cartoon character except of course for the fact that it's a cartoon character translated to live action and the movie actually makes it fucking work yeah that crocodile is silly and follows cartoon logic but it still works fucking perfectly well i don't know how the hell they did it but i have to give them kudos for that it's fucking great it almost never works but it works remarkably fucking well in this movie now this movie is it without its problems and there is one big one that I have with the movie which prevents the movie from being great and that is the fucking family this movie focuses on the whole family is just fucking awkward the biggest offender of that is Josh Prim played by Winslow Beckley this kid is awkward as hell and he's a fucking loser honestly he fucking deserves to not have any friends in school or anything like that so he's so fucking awkward god motherfucking damn it yeah I couldn't stand that fucking kid. No wonder he has no friends. He can't do anything right. And the fact that his only friend is that crocodile is actually very fucking pathetic. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This movie is fun. I had a blast with it. Yeah. It's not a fantastic movie, but for what it was, it's still very damn good. And for that, I'm of course going to give it a rating one thumb up. Well, guys, we're the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.